Hello and welcome to check out customization lesson. In this video we are going to take a look at checkout UI configuration, disabling checkout components and adding elements to checkout. Let's take a look on Magento to checkout page. I have one product in shopping cart and I am navigating to checkout. So take a look on the form on the left side and order summary on the right side. What we are going to do in this video, we will remove order summary block, we will disable this component just for demonstration purposes and we will add another additional component to check out and render it here near order summary block. Let's try and do this. So. Magento Checkout is configured and is implemented using UI components. However, it is possible to edit almost everything on Checkout page using default Magento layout. So we go to our module, Mastering Sample Module, View, Frontend, Layout, and here we are going to create a file for checkout layout and the MCA of checkout is checkout underscore index underscore index dot XML. Checkout UI component structure is a bit complicated because it consists of lots of elements and long hierarchy. However, in this example we will not go through all elements, we will just touch some of them. Basically, to edit checkout UI components you have to reference checkout.root block and pass just layout argument to this block. Inside just layout argument you can change configuration of override com configuration of components. And here under components I am modifying configuration of checkout component. So it's the root component of checkout. And what I'm doing is overriding template. I'm changing the main checkout template to template from my module. Pay attention, it's the name of a module slash one page. Also, I'm going one level down, so to children, and here, first thing, I'm adding note component, which is based on the simple UI component, and template is located under mastering sample model slash note. Uh, I have custom display area, which is note as well. Second thing, I am assessing sidebar UI component. And for sidebar config, I am adding component disabled item with true value. That will disable right sidebar component on checkout. The component will be still loaded but will not be rendered. Now let's create templates for one page and for node. Templates for frontend rendering for rendering on frontend are created under web template directory. Pay attention on different naming, so 
PHTML templates are stored inside templates directory. However, for front-end render template, you have to create directory template, template without S at the end. Now let's create the first file, which is one page dot HTML. So I'm just pasting almost the contents of one page dot HTML from core checkout module that I copied. However, I changed just one part of this template. I added this section, which is just rendering node region. And this section will be responsible for rendering the node component that we added. As you can see sidebar is still in this template. However, another way to disable the sidebar will be just removing re removing this block from one page template. Now let's create a template for node component. And it will be node HTML. Uh, here I will add some simple co content like uh, just note. Probably you would like to add some endorsement for your customer to to proceed further to checkout process. But in our case, just one word. Now let's flash cache and check the customization on front end. So bin magenta cache flash. Now go into browser and refresh and check out page. As you can see, order summary is removed. It's no longer here. And our node component is rendered. I would like to recommend you to go to module checkout on your vendor folder and magenta, view frontend layout and checkout index index configuration. You will be able to see all checkout elements here, all checkout base elements rendered by checkout module. And, for, and using the names in this configuration structure, try to disable or add additional elements to checkout page. So we just completed section 3 of Mastering Magento 2 course. In this section, we learned about Magento 2 UI components, created grid and form with these UI components, and customized core modules grid and checkout. In the next section, we'll talk more about customization ways and approaches.